North Korea launched more projectiles. Seoul believes the regime may have tested short-range missiles today, a move that escalates concerns already built from firing weapons just five days ago. Kim Ji-yeun tells us more. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff confirmed North Korea had fired two projectiles presumed to be short-range missiles from the Kusang region in Pyongyangbukdo province at 4.29 and 4.49 p.m. local time on Thursday in the direction of the East Sea with flying distances of some 420 kilometers and 270 kilometers each. Both projectiles recorded flying altitudes of some 50 kilometers and presumed to have landed in the East Sea. The South Korean military said it has stepped up surveillance and monitoring in preparation for possible additional launches by North Korea and that it remains fully prepared in close coordination with the U.S. Initially, the military has said that the launch originated from the province's Shinori region, some 40 kilometers away from Kusang. Shinori is known to be an operational missile base that houses medium-range ballistic missiles like the Nodong-1. The last time North Korea test-fired a missile was in November of 2017, when inter-Korean tensions were high and North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and U.S. President Donald Trump were locked in a heated verbal exchange. As for last week's projectiles, the launch was confirmed by South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff to have involved a new type of tactical guided weapon, as well as 240 and 300 millimeter multiple rocket launcher systems. The North described last week's launches as being part of the regime's normal and self-defensive training, arguing that such training is different in nature from war drills, and said denying the right to such drills will result in consequences that no one would want to see. Thursday's firing is expected to raise the issue of whether North Korea had violated a series of United Nations Security Council resolutions that ban North Korea from testing ballistic missiles. Kim Jian, Arirang News.